just look for one fall, it is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first the team of Austin Aries and Bobby Roode. Roode and Aries, this all started with them disrespecting the champions of TNA Wrestling. They've gone on record to say they think the easiest target is Chavo and Hernandez. I think they're right, and I'll tell you something else. I also think that Austin Aries is a little pissed off because Bobby Roode's music played and not his. They had to walk out the Roode's music. <laughs> Aries isn't happy. Yeah, Sorry. Roode's win over Hernandez two weeks ago, step one, then they closed the deal when Austin Aries had the victory over Chavo last week. That win officially gives them the title shot now. You guys are no fun. No fun. And their opponents, your world tag team champions, Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero. That's right, Mike. That victory by Aries over Chavo just last week here in Manchester. But of course, Bobby Roode instrumental in that victory as well. These two know how to work together. When you think about the success that Chavo Guerrero Jr. and Hernandez have had as a team came quicker than most. Chavo to TNA late July of last year. They joined forces. They seamlessly worked together. They've been the champions since Bound for Glory, now in their fourth month as World Tag Team title holders. So you keep all this like in your phone, this information there, Professor. How do you remember this? How do you, how do you remember this? between stuff? my ears. Unbelievable, you're such a genius. You're a freak of nature, Mike, I swear. Freak of nature. It's the professor. Chavo Guerrero starting it off with Bobby Roode. What a great tag team title matchup this looks to be. Can Roode and Aries stay on the same page and take home the gold? Well, they're certainly confident. You touched on it moments ago, Todd. I talked to Roode and Aries. They were so outspoken with a lack of respect that they have for Chavo and Hernandez. They told me that they look at the tag titles as the easiest championships to win. Question is, will they be saying that post-match? Why does everybody have a problem with Bobby Roode and Austin Aries, their swagger and their confidence? It's a lack of respect. Well, says who? Says me. And who are you? What do you mean, who am I? You just put me over five seconds ago. That was five seconds ago. Beautiful head scissors takedown there by Chavo. Well, the champs came out themselves and said they don't respect any of the champions here, any of the TNA wrestling champions. And they shouldn't. They're both former World Heavyweight Champions. They've both been to the top of the mountaintop. Root's pissed right now because Aries tagged himself for the match. They're very competitive chaps, as they see here in uh, Manchester. Yeah, interesting history between Root uh -oh, and Aries. Uh -oh. As Hernandez now face to face with Aries last July, Aries beat Rude to become World Heavyweight Champion, and in the process, it was Aries who ended the longest reign in company history as far as Rude holding the World Heavyweight title. Tonight, they're a tag team. Look at the strength and the power of Supermax. The beast, man. And the arrogance of the self proclaimed greatest man who ever lived. And that's a great point, Mike. Is that something that that's something that's gonna be tough for Bobby Roode to let go of? He had a historic reign. It came to an end at the hands of that man. Can they work together? And at the same time, you'll recall that it was Aries who outbid Roode to gain the services of aces and eights. Let's be honest, it's been established these two will do anything to be successful, anything to be champions again. That's why they're working together. Well, they work together there, and Rude basically just saving the life of uh, Look at this. Aries. What the hell like is this? a rugby scrub here in the center of the ring. Triple suplex, quadruple, I suppose. Unbelievable action. You're never good with fractions, Todd. But I'll tell you this much. We in Aces and Aces have definitely done business with both Aries and Rude, more oh, Rude, and it was a pleasure, I'd like to say, a pleasure. Has to check. But again, it was their inability to get on the same page that cost them there, and now the tag team champions have taken control of this championship matchup. Oh, 
Well, that's what happened. A little bit uh, indecisive there was Chavo and he got caught. Oh, and look at that. Suicide dive to the outside. The tag team titles hanging in the balance. This championship match continues right after this. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling from Manchester, England. World Tag Team title matchup. And before the break, a little miscue by the challengers. Aries hit his own partner with that suicide dive on the outside. And it's been the champs in control ever since. Yeah, complexion of the match. Totally turns in favor of the champs once there's the miscommunication among the challengers. Let's be honest, that's been the question that we have had leading up to this tag team title match. Will Aries and Rude be able to work together and coexist? As we see Chavo in tight with the drop kick, champs in the driver's seat. If I can give an opinion here as a former world heavyweight champion multiple times and every different level, by the way, I'm the other one in this booth with that. Anyway, I digress. I will say this much, if Austin Aries and Bobby Roode can get together, work as a cohesive unit, they will be unbeatable, man, in all walks of life in this company, unless they face anybody from Aces Knicks. Well, you covered your ground on that one, didn't you? Andrew, you know what? <laughs> Voice of the club. Big strikes there by John. Todd, you don't have any more jokes? You didn't think any more tricycle jokes in the past I, I got week? one, but I'm going to throw it at Mike instead. Oh, okay, good, good. That's smart. It's great Come to body bag, buddy. Great body to be bag. here in England, been enjoying some of the local cuisine. I understand, Mike, been trying some of the desserts. You like the spotted dick. No, no, that's all you, Todd. <laughs> cuisine? I saw your McDonald's. Todd, who are you kidding? Champ's still break. rolling. Big splash there by Hernandez. Actually, McDonald's mate. That's what they call it. And listen to... Rude is... Glorious. It's hot, man. I don't blame him. So that continues to pose the question that you asked, Taz. If they can work together, of course they're going to be an incredible team, but can they do that when you look on the flip side and just the continuity of the tag team champions that Mike documented earlier ever since Bound for Glory? Ooh, big discus forearm, roaring forearm there by Aries. Hit its mark right on the cheekbone of Chavo Guerrero. Ah, good way to knock a guy out. What a shot that was. Austin now, Aries, he's been X Division champion. He's been World Heavyweight champion. Never been a tag team title holder. If Aries and Rude could win the titles tonight, he would become a triple crown winner. Only four others in the history of this company. AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, and Abyss have been triple crown champions as Rude going to try and do that and get Aries one half of the titles, but Chavo escapes. Well, you know who has been a tag team champion multiple times? Me. And I can tell you this much, it sucks. It's not fun. I hated teaming with guys. I hated it. It's about me. And But now I'm about family. I'm about aces and aces. Yeah, let's fast forward to 2013 and let's talk tag team history about Bobby Roode. Six times Bobby Roode's been world tag team whoa, champ. Whoa, whoa. Turns it over to Aries who stacks up Chavo for two. Hey, listen, what most guys forgot about being champion, Bobby Roode, he wrote the book on it, man. Bobby Roode just... I agree with you, Mike. Listen, when it comes to being a champion at any level, you gotta look at Rude, no doubt. Got a factoid for you. Bobby Rude, not only the record for the longest reigning world heavyweight champion in company history, but also longest reigning tag team champion. One half of beer money with the Cowboy James Storm. Devastating clothesline by Rude. Into the cover wait, now. I got a factoid for both of you guys. I got a boil on my ass. All right, anyway. Uh, thanks now, for sharing. We're at chin lock right now by Bobby Rude. Tell you what, the challengers have taken over firm control of this matchup. Frequent tags, staying fresh, isolating Chavo Guerrero. Great tag team wrestling strategy being shown by the challengers. So maybe doubt the uh, the critics being silenced now here in Manchester. So much happening. Impact going on the road. Lockdown coming to San Antonio. So much happening here at Impact Wrestling. Stay on top of things 24-7, 365 a year. And we remind you to keep up with TNA President Dixie Carter via social media at facebook.com slash TNA Dixie and of course on Twitter. Well, the challengers have really turned this in their favor. That quick flurry of offense that we saw from the champs that's a thing of that's a thing in the past. That's history right now because it's all Aries and Ruth. Oh, you're not kidding. You can see Chavo. He's just getting picked apart right now. Watch Aries. Look at Aries on the top of this. Huge double axe handle there by Aries. Hernandez trying to get out to his partner to help him, but he was being held back by the official. Now into the cover. 
feet on the ropes. And referee Brian Hepner caught that. Yeah, challenger's not afraid to take a shortcut, established that earlier. Anything within their power to become world tag team champions. And they're looking at this as just step number one. They said earlier, Rude and Aries, they told us, they're gonna start with the tag team titles, then hold all the championships here in TNA. Well, what's wrong with having a starting point? I don't get it. I'm not, I, did I say there was anything wrong? Well, you implied it. Definitely implied it, but Chavo Guerrero, he's mounting his own comeback here, and well, came up a little short, and dropped hold out of his boots right there, cutting the ring off. He's the master tactician known as the it factor, Bobby Roode. You're right, just when it looks like there's momentum on the side of the champions, just when it looks like Chavo and Hernandez can get things rolling, they're stopped and cut off, legally or illegally, by Rude Nares. Manchester crowd firmly behind the champs, trying to rally Chavo to create some distance, get to that corner and tag in Hernandez, but he is in a bad place in this matchup. And Taz, I gotta ask you, kind of bay off. Look at that blatant disrespect again by the challengers. Phantom tag is made, and here comes Aries. Oh, it could have been in. worse. Instead of spinning on him, he could have given him like a snot rocket. What's your question? I, I, I'm sitting, I'm waiting for bait of breath. What's your question? Well, my question is, the challengers' plans to rack up all the championship gold here, right. I would think that, you know, that would uh, conflict with the goals of aces and eights. No. Well, how does that conflict? Because when the time is right, we, Aces and Ace, will completely dominate. We'll take all the gold for everybody whenever we want. We're just warming up, my friend. We're just warming up. Horrible question, by the way. Anyway. All right, well, Devon, current television champion, and I thought maybe he would have his sights on him as well. Well, that's the problem, Todd. You're thinking. Aces and eights better be concerned about the tag team tables match that's still to come tonight because the icon Sting, he's got the man who's off of suspension. He's got Bully Ray back on his side and nobody wants revenge more than Bully Ray. And what, a, and I'll get into that later, but what a complete load of hogwash by Hogan reinstating Bully Ray. I'll get into that later. I have a lot of opinions on that. Hogwash. Chavo getting so close again, just crawling, trying to get to his corner. But tag is made, the it factor in there to stop him. And the challengers have really dominated the last few minutes of this championship match. Yeah, the momentum definitely in the corner of Aries and Ruba. Oh, wait, Chavo. Look at the quickness. Oh, and both men going for the same thing there, both going for the clothesline. Both men are down. Who can get to their corner first? Boy, in terms of physicality, it has been all Rude and Aries, the dominant part of this match, but now it's pretty much 50-50 in terms of who gets the tag here, and now it's both freshmen. Now it's power on the side of Hernandez. Oh. Well, see, that's the thing. That was smart by Aries and Rude. They were trying to keep Hernandez out of this match, but now Chavo able to tear him, tag him in, and look out. Look at that power. Unbelievable. Hernandez spent a lot of time on that apron. He certainly is fresh. He's got to capitalize. Got to try and divide and conquer here with the challengers. Aries on rubber legs. Vicious backbreaker there by Hernandez. Quickly into the cover. Champs to put him away, but Rude makes the save. Yeah, it's just what you would expect once Supermex was fresh and got in the match. It's the champions who take control. Shoulder block. Oh. That's the physicality from outside. Now, here comes her. Oh, Hernandez took down Aries. Did, did Rude pull Aries in front of him? That looked like, not at all. Kind of looked like that he a took, bit. He's made Aries take the bullet. He might have got tripped up. I don't know. Certainly looked that way, but now it's Rude and Hernandez trading center of the ring. Oh, what a shot. What a chop there by the challenger. Oh, man, that massive get off me. Beautiful hit right there by Hernandez. Super match, just a beast in straight beast mode. I believe Aries is still the legal man in this matchup, though, for the challengers. Look out, Chavo tags in, getting his second win here. Snaps off the first of perhaps the three amigos. Rolling those hips, Taz. Sure is, he's got great snap in those suplexes, but Aries with an awesome counter. Uh oh, this might be the end of Chavo, my friend. Aries loves that brain buster, so devastating with it, but look at that, meeting in the mines again. What the hell are you doing? Oh, and these two getting chippy. Rude 
heading for the hills here? Bobby Roode gonna walk on Austin Aries? Looks like he's leaving his partner out to dry. Another vertical suplex there. That was the third Jungle. one. Yep. Finally paid the deal off with the third of the three amigos. And now this is the continuity. This is the teamwork that oh, we've yeah. seen for months from the champs. Oh, yeah, this is two on one. That's what this is. It's two on one. Oh. Wait, a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it evened up. <laughs> Root comes back low, low. The official did not see it. And Hernandez taken to the outside. Watch out. Drop kick in the corner. Beautifully done. Look at this. Double R spinebuster by Rue. Come on, Aries. Nail it, nail it. How oh, he does, 450, hook of the leg, and new champion <laughs> crown in Manchester. I love it. Great job right there by Aries and Root making history here in Manchester. Yeah, throughout the match, we questioned whether the challengers would be able to coexist. They may have even had questions among themselves, but they put it together at the end, and Aries and Root do it. Well, definitely an explosive uh, relationship between the, the new champions, and that right there, that spine buster into this amazing 450 by Austin Aries, crowned new tag team champs. What a tremendous tour of the United Kingdom it has been for TNA, as it's now time for our Impact Invasion main event tag <laughs> team match here at a jam-packed Wembley Arena in London, England. Yeah, not much love here for my homeboy from New York City, Bully Ray, hated worldwide, and I don't think he would, uh, I don't think he'd want it any other way. And as we have seen tonight, Bully Ray questioning the loyalty, the actions of a man who's going to be his tag team partner now, but his opponent in just three days at Against All Odds. The world heavyweight champion, Bobby Roode, has grown accustomed to having the Immortals bully Ray watching his back. But after watching the tension emerge between these two tonight, I've got to wonder if there's going to be trust issues, especially in light of Bobby Roode defending his world heavyweight championship Sunday and against all odds against three challengers, one of whom is that man, Bully Ray. Yeah, well, actually, I, I agree with you, Mike, as far as seeing if they, I don't know how, how their friendship is between these two guys anymore after what happened last week. I mean, the more combustible one is Bully Ray. You know, where Rude is kind of like back, back, backpedaling, trying to say, hey, we're good. Let's work here together. Calling you know? influence. Yes, exactly. Voice of reason. Or well, con man. <laughs> Either way you want to put it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be the first time there was a con man in this business, though, right? know that the Cowboy James Storm, Creeks. he would love to become world heavyweight champion once again. And you also know that he'd like nothing more than to win that title at the expense of his former Beer Money tag team partner, Bobby Roode. Ultimate revenge for Storm. It could be this Sunday against all odds. When James Storm the Cowboy has the chance to defeat the man who cost him the gold when he smashed that beer bottle over his head. Yeah, and I mean, really, I really feel this come this Sunday at Against All Odds for the World Heavyweight title in that four-way. You really got to watch that man right there, Cowboy James Storm. He possesses that last ball super kick. He can hit you with that super kick at any point in the match and beat you, whoever you are, out of those other three men, including the champion. So you got to watch James Storm.
The man in charge has his fingerprints all over tonight's impact invasion from London, England, as well as this Sunday's against all odds pay-per-view from Orlando, Florida. And think about it, Taz, in both instances, it's going to be more than fingerprints. It's going to be physical involvement. Tonight, right now, Sting returns to active competition in our tag team main event. But keep in mind, Sting has appointed himself special enforcer for Against All Odds on pay-per-view this Sunday, the four-way World Heavyweight Championship match when Bobby Roode defends against the challenge of James Storm, Bully Ray, and yes, the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. Well, I really think that Sting, by making himself the special enforcer, was a smart move. I mean, you got four men that are gonna have at it this Sunday for the World Heavyweight Championship. You need someone besides a basic referee, no knock on all referees, they do a great job, but someone like Sting as that enforcer, I think is a difference maker to make that thing as clean as possible this Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is your impact main when the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA official, Mr. Brian Hebner. And now, from Wembley Arena in London, England, it's time for your main event of the evening. Introducing, first of all, standing to my left, he weighed in this morning at 275 pounds and comes to us from Hell's Kitchen, New York. New York City! He is Bully Ray! And now, introducing his tag team partner. He comes to us from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 238 pounds, he is the current TNA Heavyweight Champion of the World, Bobby Roode! And now, Introducing their opponents. Standing in the corner to my right, first of all, from Leapers for Tennessee. He weighed in this morning at 235 pounds. He is the cowboy, James Storm. And introducing his tag team partner. Weighing in at 248 pounds from Venice Beach, California. He is the icon. This is Steel. Big match atmosphere. Main event time. Impact invasion from historic Wembley Arena in London, England. And Storm and Sting look pretty confident. Yeah, well, there's no agenda between Storm and Sting. I mean, they're kind of, I would assume, going to be on the same page. Where, as we've been pointing out, since last week, what happened between Bully and Rude, who knows? Already there's tension. <laughs> there's been tension, as you said, for the past week. Bully Ray feels like he has been there repeatedly for the world champ, always watching his back. But Bully Ray thought that when Bobby Roode had the opportunity to do the same thing last week, that he wasn't there to return the favor. That's what started the tension. And that is what we have seen emerge tonight. And you can expect much of the same this Sunday at Against All Odds when that World Heavyweight title is going to be on the line. Well, let's be honest, I mean, listen, I feel that Bully, Ray's, Bully Ray is in, in the right. I believe he's, he's correct. I, I think that he's always watched the back of Bobby Roode, and Bobby didn't do the same thing for him last week. He had a chance and he didn't do it. I, I, I kind of agree with Bully Ray. Let's talk about the potential advantage or disadvantage, whatever you think, for the one Ooh. man who's involved in the world title match Sunday and against all odds, but is not in this Impact Invasion Tag Team main event. Talking about the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Don't worry, I got you back. Well, I got you back. Well, you see, 
Rude wanted to tag in. Uh, bully, bully didn't do it. But yeah, well, the thing with, with Jeff Hardy, Mike, I mean, the charismatic enigma is you, he's unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen with him. And come this Sunday, I know Jeff very well. I've competed against Jeff. I know him a lot of years. And I think I'm qualified to say Jeff will be in the zone and he will be ready come this Sunday, Sunday with this opportunity in his fallway for the world title. Chops, punches, strikes in the corner from the world champ. Sting fires up. Insane icon on the attack. Chips in for the right. Oh, what a back body drop. Here comes the Stinger with that Stinger splash. Nobody home. Rude got himself out of the way, but couldn't get out of the way of that running clothesline. What an insane icon. Lobo going to go for the Scorpion right here. He's got great ring positioning. He's got it in the center. He takes the step over. Submission hold applied. And well, Bully Ray was there to watch Roots back again. Uh, he was. I mean, listen, Bully Ray's a competitor. He wants to win. Even though he's got issues with Root, he did do the right thing. But he got caught by Sting. Double team from the Cowboy and the insane icon. This huge impact invasion tag team matchup continues right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Impact Invasion from London, England. High profile, huge tag team main event. The Icon Sting, the man in charge of Impact Wrestling, the insane Icon. We're gonna tag in his partner, the Cowboy James Storm, well, as they battle Bully Ray and the world champ Bobby Roode. Here we go. I mean, you see Sting, I mean, tagged in uh, Storm because Bully Ray basically said, I want you, Storm. So Sting said, okay, you want Storm, here's Storm. So here we have it. Very cautious. Very cautious. Tentative, tentative yes. and cautious. Bully Ray. Right, my friend. No! And Storm answers, catches him off guard. Series of arm drags. Yeah, he's got a nice arm bar. Good, out, good positioning does James Storm on Bully Ray. Bully Ray has been known as, as the intimidator, the muscle of the immortal faction, known for taking out the competition. And, you know, we haven't seen the Monster Abyss ever since that Monster's Ball match back at Genesis when he faced Bully Ray. Yeah, that's a great point, Mike. I mean, that definitely is. I mean, what the hell happened with Abyss? What did Bully do with and to Abyss? I gotta tell you, I mean, he's gotta look at something like Bully Ray. We talked on the entrance of James Storm that he's got an opportunity to hit a last call super kick this Sunday to become world champion again. But someone that's in this match, in this four way, come this Sunday for the world title that's never been a world champion is Bully Ray. Let's talk about that motivation. Does that put him in a different place, a different position than the defending champ and the other two challengers? Yeah. Both, both of whom have, have been there before. I definitely think it puts Bully Ray in a different position. I think that it's going to put him. So Bully Ray's used to being in, in big matches. I mean, he's been a multi-time tag team champion. He's competed on, on, you know, in big matches, in main events his whole career. So he's not going to have stage wow. fright. Whoa. There'll be no stage fright, that's for sure. It's just that I feel the gun is to the head of Bully Ray. He's never been World Heavyweight Champion, and I think there's a chance he can pull it off this Sunday. Special enforcer for that four-way sting holds Bully Ray while the Cowboy comes off the middle rope and drives the punch right into the midsection. You know, I, listen, I know Bully Ray very well. It's pretty well documented. We're good friends for a long time. And, and you know, I got to say, uh, I, I think at times, sometimes it's in the back of his mind, like, and I've never been the World Heavyweight Champion. Like, you know, that's something that you really, wrestlers need to want to do. I mean, all the monstrous, huge success Bully's had as a tag team champion, still different than being a singles world champion. What is it that you call it? The Holy Grail? The Holy Grail, buddy. I mean, that, that's what right now you're watching Bob Root, our world champion. This guy worked his tail off to get to the top of the mountain. Now, once you're up there, well, everybody's gonna feel No tag right there, but Bobby Root just slipped out, did the old clap your hands, ref don't hear it thing. Well, we talked about trust issues between Bully Ray and Bobby Roode that have emerged over the course of the past week, but there's been no problems, both on the same page tonight in this tag team main event. And as Bully Ray tears the shirt right off of the Cowboy James Storm, the injured ribs 
that we saw last week whoa, whoa. on Impact Wrestling exposed as Bully Ray once again pulling the protective tape off the ribs of Storm. And now you know he's going to center, oh, yeah. he's going to focus his offensive attack on those injured ribs. And hey, look, you can talk about focus. You're not more focused than that. Hell bent is Bully Ray staring at the back of a, the kidney area of James Storm, which is part of your ribs because they go around your body, per se. So you can see now Rude 2 doing the same thing following suit. As you said, he's the guy who opened up that, uh, that injury last week when these two competed one on one. Yes, Storm last week in two singles matches against the world heavyweight champion Bobby Rude and then later against Bully Ray. Tonight he's got to face both of them, but at least James Storm can look to the corner and recognize that he has the icon as his tag team partner. He's going to need that, man. It's only been a week since this injury, and you can see that Rude and Billy Ray are zoned in on the rib cage of that reverse gut wrench by the world champion, Arm Storm. Storm's got a tag sting into this match, Mike. What timing could not be better if Storm would be able to get over to the corner and make the tag to Sting. Sting on the apron, waiting to get in. He's certainly the fresher of the two competitors. Storm trying to not only fight through the pain, but at the same time, break that grip of Rude. He does so. Series of elbows to the side of the head. And then the champ takes him right back down to the mat and turns things over to the bully. When you have two guys that have such a great legacy as tag team champions and wrestlers in a Bobby Rude and a Bully Ray, they know how to cut the ring in half. And that's what you're witnessing right here. Cutting the ring in half. Great job by Rick Bully Ray. And, Rude. and when it comes to the offense from Bully Ray and Rude, it's more of the same. They are hug type maneuver by the Bully. Continuing to wear down the injured ribs of the Cowboy James Storm. Storm going to try and box those ears. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Go to the eyes, man. That's what you want to do if the box of the ears don't work. Go to the eyes. The eyes will shut them down a bit. New York City, Borger, Texas. Ah, a couple miles apart. Now look now, Bully Ray. Tell him, Rude, watch this. It's kind of a, in a unique situation. They're going to be against each other this Sunday for the world title being Rude and Ray. I don't give a damn. Get up, you say. Get up, Ford. Get up. Get up. Move out of my way. No respect for referee Brian Hebner. Tried to use the chain against Storm. Sides leg sweep yeah, by Russian, the Cowboy. Russian leg sweep, and you can see that James Storm is feeling that himself on the impact of his body and his ribs. Hit the ground on the leg sweep. Gotta get Sting in the match, Storm. Gotta do it, gotta get there. Storm is close. Gonna try and reach out here and tag in as Rude, the world champ, is now legal. And so is the insane icon. Sting takes down Rude, drops the bully. Yeah, look at Sting now, the proverbial house on fire, Mike. Here he goes. Whoa. Stinger splash in the corner for the world champ. Stinger splash for the bully. Oh, went to the well one time too many. Bobby Rude avoids him in the corner. Rude gonna go high oh. risk, but Whoa. Sting quickly follows up. Go for a ride. Whoa. Champ went sailing across the ring. Right here in London. Sting put him away. Sting on top of oh. the <laughs> Bully Ray tries to break it up, but dropped the elbow on, well, his own partner and the world champ. That's not gonna help that chemistry any, is it? <laughs> well, Sting gonna stack him up, both in the corner. Then splashes on the back of the third. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Fun way to spend a Thursday night in London. London bridges falling <laughs> down. Good gosh. My nuts! Bully Ray taken out to the arena floor. Now it's Sting and Root squaring off. Big time spine buster. Champ on top. Champ pins gets just two. Oh, I saw that right there. Storm 
went for a close on Bully Ray on the outside. That false shot we had, and Storm's arm hit that ring post. Full steal. Fisherman attempt. Suplex try by Rude. Fought off. And Rude, who out of nowhere, drops it. Scorpion death drop. Set up for that Scorpion leg lock here. Classic move by the Sting about to nail it. Here we go. There it is. Submission hold applied. Scorpion death lock. He's got it cinched in. He's got it locked on. And Bobby Roode, he's calling for the, the backup. He's calling for Bully Ray. Bully's going to do the right thing for Roode. See you in three days, champ. Oh. oh, man. He got his tapping out. Wow. Away, but as you just saw, next week Lashley seems ready. Kurt Angle seems ready. Those two go one on one for the first time ever for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. That's seven days from right now. However, we settle in for our main event as Rockstar Spud has issued the challenge. Spud wants to go one on one with EC3. EC3 accepted it will be hair versus hair. And as you just saw, Spud handed off the briefcase. He's got a future X Division championship match inside, but Spud has bigger things on his mind tonight. Those bigger things being a one-on-one -on -one match with his arch rival, his nemesis, Ethan Carter III. Star Spud, EC3, our main event is next. Ladies and gentlemen, EC3. Welcome back to Friday Night Impact on Destination America. This is our main event. Ethan Carter the third, the one percenter, privileged, entitled, self-obsessed, just a few of the words that you can use to describe EC3. Earlier tonight he talked about 16 months not being pinned, not being submitted, defeated guys like Sting, Kurt Angle, Bully Ray, still wearing the heavy arm brace. We've asked EC3 to tell us why he's wearing the brace. He told us it's none of our business. He does what he wants. And EC3 pretty much can do whatever he wants as the nephew of TNA President Dixie Carter. Spud laid down the challenge last week, said this has to end. All the humiliation, everything that EC3 has done, to Rockstar Spud over the number of months, everything that EC3 did to Jeremy Borash by shaving his head. It all ends tonight. Hair versus hair. Spud versus EC3. Obviously, Spud has the hometown advantage. The opening bell in our main event is underway. Rockstar Spud has talked about it being a dream come true to compete on the Impact roster. Another dream coming true tonight by competing inside Wembley Arena in London. Spud from about 200 miles away in Birmingham. And Spud going off on EC3. If Rockstar Spud has any chance in this match, what is it? I don't think he has any chance. Frankly, Spud is not in EC3's league. Maybe one day, but not yet. But I do respect Spud's intensity. 
If Rockstar Spot has a chance, it's in the early going. Get after EC3. And Spud doing that here. Spud is all over EC3, man. I didn't expect this. And the chair, the barber chair that you see, the loser of this match, and Spud's biting the face of EC3. Whatever it takes, right? And Rockstar Spud with a big drop kick. And EC3 is floored. Great job by Spud thus far. This kid is on fire. Rockstar Spud, with all his determination, and all his heart, and all his desire, may have a chance here tonight against EC3. And just when you start to think that perhaps Spud's got something going, that he's building momentum, EC3 with that big boot. And now EC3, when that happened, when that boot happened, you can almost see the size advantage, the speed advantage, the strength advantage that EC3 has over Rockstar Spud. Yes, Josh, I totally agree. And as we would have assumed, this is an uphill battle for Spud. <laughs> EC3 has been held bent, borderline obsessed with shaving the head of Rockstar Spud. It's about humiliating Spud. It's about embarrassing. Rockstar Spud, EC3 missing, Spud connecting. Oh, what a clothesline, though. EC3 floor Spud, and perhaps his chances. Can Spud get back in this thing? We find out when our main event continues. Welcome back to Friday Night Impact. This is our main event. It's hair versus hair. It's EC3 versus arch rival, Rockstar Spud. EC3 undefeated, never been pinned, never submitted. Rockstar Spud said, hey, I want to end your streak, and I want to shave your head bald. Can Rockstar Spud fuel himself off the energy in London, England? Can Rockstar Spud fuel himself off of these great fans? Does Rockstar Spud have a chance here tonight? Can the ultimate underdog defeat EC3? What a move by Spud! Take one more look at Rockstar Spud throwing caution to the wind to take out his rival. Spud doing everything he can to defeat EC3. Awesome front senton off the top corner. High risk with legit reward. It's high risk moves like that that may propel Spud to a victory here tonight. Do you believe in miracles? As, wait a second. Uh, the referee dealing with EC3, and there's the heavy, the bodyguard Tyrus with a power bomb to the outside. Yeah, that sucks that EC3 most probably had that set up for the interference. Wow. Tyrus has no business being out here. EC3 was watching it all unfold. He had the referee's attention. He had the referee's focus. Spud's out. EC3 had a plan. If it's looking bleak for me, Tyrus, you got to make things right. And right on cue, Tyrus delivering a devastating powerbomb right to the floor of Wembley Arena. Spud's done. And Spud kicks out at two. Wow, he kicked out with life. Holy crap. Talk about wherewithal. The Tyrus is still out here. EC3 is still direct, directing traffic. Oh, and look at this, EC3. It's Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson who's come to the aid of Spud over the past number of weeks. Taking it right to Tyrus. Well. Anderson really leveled the playing field for sure. And a mic check by Ken Anderson to Tyrus on the outside, and EC3 is living using that big heavy brace. That brace is held together by metal and hard, hard, hard plastic. And now Spud. Oh, and Spud gets hit with the brace. I'm gonna tell you, man. Great chance. One of those sharp hinges split open the head of Spud. 
And I'll tell you, it was some blow. He just used it as a weapon, it Spud busted open. Rockstar Spud, as a result of getting hit with the heavy brace that EC3 wears, you can see the middle there has all that metal, and it busted open the forehead of Spud. You never know how a man is gonna react to seeing his own blood when it starts pouring down your face. It either scares the hell out of you, or it fuels you. What's it gonna do to Rockstar Spud, who may not know where he is at this point? Spud may be out on his feet. Yeah, that seems to be a large open wound for sure, man. EC3 not gonna stop now, though. That wound on Spud's forehead is just getting deeper. And EC3 using it as his offense here. Every Brian Hebner may, he may want to stop this match. It is the referee's discretion to end this. I don't think Spud wants it to end, but it... Oh! Man, Spud is in really bad shape. This might get really ugly. Spud wanted a one-on-one -on -one match with EC3. C3 off and talks about how he's defeated some of the greats. There you saw the stinger splash. It's like the calling card of EC3 collecting something from his past victims. The best friend of Rockstar Spud, the man responsible for bringing Spud to Impact Wrestling due to British boot camp is Jeremy Borash. JB's beside himself. JB told Spud earlier, you don't have to do this. You don't have to have this match. She's uh, gotten very uncomfortable. Boras better be careful, very careful, or he'll get bloodied also. And JB has popped up in the ring. JB with the low blow. Whoa! Great timing with JB. Rockstar Spud with a stunner. Rockstar Spud into the cover. Spud hooks the leg, and Spud nearly beats EC3. Was that the last ditch effort for Rockstar Spud? Does Spud have anything left in the tank? Can the biggest underdog in the history of Impact Wrestling end the streak of EC3? And EC3 may have just ended Rockstar Spud. Ah, oh, look at the blood just pouring out of the face, the head of Rockstar Spud. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told right now that we're gonna be taking some steps to help with the graphic nature of what you're watching. Yeah, that's a good thing. This is nasty. Spud losing lots of blood and getting destroyed. EC3 didn't even go for a cover moments ago. EC3 could end this match. For EC3, that's, that's not what this is all about. Spud has taken a... Oh, wait a second. Look at this kid! EC3 screaming, stay down! Spud refusing! They gotta admire and respect the heart and determination of Rockstar Spud. Spud, perhaps from all the love that he's getting here in London, perhaps from all the spirit of everyone in Wembley, Spud is not backing down and is taking down EC3. Holy on fire, Batman. Spud is rolling. Get rocking, brother. 
forearm after forearm. Shining Wizard. And Rockstar Spud. Tee it off on EC3. Oh no, the dreaded five on two. Spud's got EC3 now. Ducks the clothesline, kick right to the back of the head. That is nuts. Spud is getting it done, as if he's channeling wrestlers of past. Rockstar Spud is fired up. Spud looking for the underdog on EC3. Spud lands on his feet. Oh, what a big shot there. That arm brace coming into play again. Spud down, and Spud kicks out of two. That look of shock on EC3's face is a look most of our faces have right now. I can't believe this. The blood of Rockstar Spud is all over EC3. EC3 looks shocked that Spud was able to kick out moments ago. Is EC3 gonna finally do in and put away Rockstar Spud as Spud is clawing and climbing and scratching his way back to his feet. Looks like EC3 is about to end this right now. And EC3, that's gotta be the death nail. The cover, Spud down, and EC3. Ladies and gentlemen. Here is your winner. Well, an exhausted EC3 has finally done what he set out to do. EC3 wanted to embarrass Rockstar Spud, wanted to humiliate Rockstar Spud. Remember, Spud now, well, he's gonna get his head shaved after everything that Spud just went through, after the beating that he just took, after how bad this was, after the fact that we altered what you're looking at. Rockstar Spud is now going to get his head shaved by EC3. This is what you wanted, EC3. Rockstar Spud, without a shadow of a doubt, you have the most heart and determination I've ever seen in a professional wrestler. Look. I've, I've, done, I've done some heinous things to you. I've attacked your friends. It was misguided, it was, it was severe. I was just trying to make a statement. But there was a time where we were best friends. And I ruined that. I ruined that. Spud, in front of your home people, your mom and your dad, you proved you belong in Impact Wrestling. You proved that despite your size, your heart weighs more, and there's a chance that one day you could be a world champion. You have the intangibles. You have it, man. And you're, I, I'm not going to shave your head tonight. I'm not going to embarrass you for any people. I, he doesn't deserve his head shaved. He proved he belongs. He proved he's one of you. He proved he's a fighter. He proved he's a lion, a tiger, a gazelle. And damn it, you proved you were a man. I, I don't expect you to take this, but I will offer my hand and shake your hand right here. I, I know we can never go back to the way it was. We'll go our separate ways. You shake my hand. Let's end this on good terms. Absolutely shocking. What a great show of sportsmanship from EC3. Yes, it's nice to see this respect from EC3. I'm very surprised, but you know what? I'm sure their long-time friendship has a lot to do with this. Well, 
match, the true spirit of competition. EC3 showing that here tonight in London, England. But kudos to EC3 for doing this, for allowing Rockstar Spud to walk up. Oh, what a low down, dirty SOB this EC3 is. Max! Spud! Time to pay! Time to pay! One more measure of humiliation from EC3 to Rockstar Spud. Where's your mom? Where's she sitting? Where's mama? Oh, where's your high school girlfriend? Where's your dad? Man, EC3 duped us all. Now, embarrassing Spud in front of his people and his family. The hollow words of EC3 from just moments ago when you thought that this guy was finally gonna do the right thing. This is disgusting. Take notice! Take notice! This ring, this company, this industry, and this world, it's mine now! Message from EC3. This world belongs to me. EC3 may finally be done with Rockstar Spud, and that means trouble for every single person on the Impact roster. Cool backstage look right there. You don't see that normally with Kurt Angle's entrance. Very cool to bring everybody, including us, backstage. You get an opportunity to see Kurt Angle. It's very As he cool. makes his way through the Wembley Arena for this main event. Hey, I've been on the other side of that guy in a ring more than once. Not a night off. <laughs> I'm telling you from experience. Ain't anybody, and I said ain't, more legit than the 13-time World Heavyweight Champion, the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. So from locker room to arena. That was cool. That was cool, man. I'm telling you. You can't help but get goosebumps. And here we go. Kurt Angle, the TNA Hall of Famer. The first ever TNA World Champion. His five reigns the most in company history. The only man walking this or any other planet that has held the TNA, WWE, World Heavyweight, IWGP, and WCW World Title. Kurt Angle embodies wrestling. Well, you laid it out perfectly there, my man. No doubt about it. Good job by you, and I'll tell you this right now. Look, all the accolades, all the world titles, all earned the hard way. This guy works his rear end off. I've been in the gym with this guy over the years. You can't keep up with Kurt Angle. He's a cyborg. There you see the world heavyweight champion, Lashley, carries that big, beautiful gold championship over his massive body this is a guy who could just basically tear you limb from limb from his history in mma as an amateur wrestler as a pro wrestler how do you stop this guy same but different type of intensity with the same walk from kurt angle that you see now for the tna world heavyweight champion lashley really give you a nice behind the scenes feel of what it's like. Very cool, I don't think you see this much with pro wrestling on television today. And it's very cool to bring fans behind the scenes to see what it's really like, because this is legit. This is how it is. There's nobody around him, no one's saying, hey, go out and do this, do that. This is the real deal you're looking at, folks. I promise. Because if you're not ready at this point, you don't belong at this level. 
You don't need nobody in your ear before you walk for a curtain. This champ. Lashley has been world champion for 72 straight days. Since winning the title on January the 7th, Lashley has faced all challengers. Lashley has walked alone. And this, his second title reign, has been absolutely phenomenal. Man, you want to talk big, fight, feel. Good gosh, this is it. <laughs> First time ever, Kurt Angle versus Lashley, World Heavyweight title, Wembley Arena, not too shabby. Look at the size of the champ, Josh. Freak-like. And just let your inner dialogue take over. Nobody can tell the story better than you can as we get ready for Angle versus Lashley. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is your main event for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, standing to my right wing and at 234 pounds from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He is professional wrestling's only Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. And now, introducing, standing to my left, weighing in at 278 pounds from Denver, Colorado, he is the TNA Heavyweight Champion of the World, The Destroyer, Leslie! Lashley has a 44-pound weight advantage over Kurt Angle. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a commercial break. When we return, Angle, Lashley, first time ever. Welcome you back to Impact Wrestling. This is our main event. Kurt Angle, the challenger. Lashley, the champion. The first time these two have ever met, and it's for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. It happens right now. All the years I've known both these guys, it never dawned on me until recently here that they've never faced each other. Look at that nice drop step into a single leg, but not able to get Angle down. Kurt floats behind, scoots behind. See the wrist control right there by Lashley. Breaks Ooh. free and the power, the quickness, man. See that athleticism by the champ. Kurt Angle off his feet for the first time in this matchup. Both of these men, incredible amateur backgrounds before getting into professional wrestling. Kurt Angle, of course, well documented, the 1996 Olympic gold medalist. Lashley. Got into MMA, has a 12 and 2 mixed martial arts record. Take down, cover, and angle pops free at one. See, Lashley again shot for that leg that's heavily braced and got it, and then swept the other leg. He's freaking free those waist locks by Kurt, Ooh. which is very hard to do. Kurt Air. Angle again, kind of having a hard time getting out of blocks against the quickness, power, and energy of the champion. Earlier tonight, your prediction, Taz, you went with Kurt Angle to become new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Angle said earlier tonight, if I can defeat Lashley, the most dominant wrestler in the history of TNA, I can prove I'm one of the best yeah, here tonight. Nice duck up, that drop step into a high cross, then takes down Angle with a go behind takedown, trying to trap the arm as he has the head. You see Kurt get wrist control and gets his own single leg and's gonna suck it in now. He'll pull it in. Oh no, he changed off. That's what really great wrestlers like these two guys do. They change off of holds a lot. You won't see a lot of pro wrestlers do that. They'll go to different levels on holds. And this time, Angle catches Lashley. Beautiful throw by Kurt. He's going for a German, maybe. Oh, wow. And Kurt Angle keeping his hands locked. We saw Angle deliver 10 German suplexes. 
to Eric Young on Angle's way to becoming number one contender for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. I am shocked that Kurt Angle just popped off those Germans this early in the match. I think he's sending a message directly to Lashley. I could throw you anytime I want in this match. There have been 16 TNA World Heavyweight Champions. Kurt Angle, the very first. That drop toe hold into that ankle lock already. Here we go. Angle not working by the hour here. Will Lashley be forced to tap out early and the champion able to reach the bottom rope? Listen, man, I predicted Kurt Angle would win this match. That's no disrespect on Lashley. I have mad respect for Lashley. I consider him a good friend of mine. But the thing is, I just feel like Kurt, Ooh. oh! Kurt is just locked in right now. Since being out of the ring for so long, and since his time back, coming up from the operation, the whole nine yards, I feel like Kurt, it's just like another second win for him. Win. I just feel like it's there for him right now. Giving up 44 pounds, you don't think that's a huge disadvantage oh, for Kurt? It's big. I mean, yeah, it's definitely huge. Um, and uh, probably several inches in height also. I mean, so, see, so, yeah, a spot by Lashley. He's going to kind of pick his spots and d dictate the pace of this match. She's hurt, I think, after those suplexes or something. Perhaps the ankle lock wow. doing damage as well to Lashley. Kurt wow. Angle, though, shoulder first off of that steel guardrail. There's those 44 pounds advantage that you were just referencing for Lashley. Kurt Angle, the challenger, needs to get this match back into the ring. That's the only way that Kurt can become champion here tonight by pinfall or submission inside the ring. Well, most of the times, referees will have a little bit more, uh, be a little more lenient when it's for the World Heavyweight title. I think we're seeing that here in regards to a count-out situation. You, know, you don't want the championship to be retained or given up via count-out. That's kind of a stink fest, in my opinion. Oh. Referee Brian Hebner, well-versed in refereeing many multiple main events in his career, like his dad. So he's the perfect guy to ref this thing, in my opinion. Lashley back into the ring, giving no separation to Angle, covered by Lashley and Kurt once again. Right at two, able to kick out. Again, first time ever for these two Warriors. Great to see, I'll tell you, man. Great opportunity to pull this thing. It's a lot of fun. You guys should rethink my prediction here. I don't know. <laughs> Kurt's, Kurt's not doing too good. Yeah, Lashley was able to weather the early storm of Kurt Angle. You saw the power come into play early, and then Kurt was able to turn things around with that beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Lashley, with one of his own, floats over. Vertical suplex there, but able to float over. Yeah, I mean, we saw the transition that Lashley made from pro wrestling into MMA back to pro wrestling. We've never seen Kurt Angle do that. And I think it was during the era of his prime in his career. MMA wasn't as popular. But I think everybody always thought, I know when I was in WWE with Kurt Angle and all these who traveled and trained together, we, you know, we'll talk about it as it got popular. And I think it's something that Kurt probably, everybody knows, would have flourished at, would have been amazing at, especially with his international wrestling ability. But it just never happened. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's not too late. You never know. And Kurt Angle tonight, though, hell is fully focused on becoming TNA World Champion. Lashley, again, the power game, and a kick out once again by Angle, but you can really see what Lashley brought here tonight. He wants to wear down Angle. And it's working. He's got that arm locked up. He's got the forearm to the elbow right behind the head. Kind of like a key lock version there, and, and he's, he's controlling Kurt's left wing. I'm sorry, right wing, how am I doing? Uh, but you know, and it's smart to try and Eliminated arm. I, I would have stuck to the leg game plan, but because of the knee injury that Kurt has, that the surgery repaired knee, I should say, that Kurt had. The longer this match goes, who does it benefit, Lashley or Kurt Angle? Because you said earlier, hey, Kurt Angle, he doesn't get paid by the hour. And it I, looks like Lashley's in it for the long haul. I think it benefits Lashley the longer this thing goes. I really do. Oh! Uh, let's be frank, Lashley's a little bit younger, okay? His body's not as beat up uh, uh, as, as all the years of injuries that Kurt's had. Uh, you know, I, I just think that, that Lashley's been on a reign of terror the past several months, as we've seen. He's bust through everybody, man. He don't care about nothing. He just wants to fight and defend his title. And that, that his cardio has been amazing. So I, I, I think it benefits the champ the longer it goes. Kurt Angle's career has been amazing. TNA Triple Crown winner, two-time Division I Collegiate National Champion. Kurt Angle has pretty much done it all and continues to fire on all cylinders, wants to do more, does the Olympic gold medalist. Well, Kurt Angle wrestled in college at a school called Clarion, which is in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, German suplex it in. 
And he was a straight up stud there, known as a great wrestling program as Clarion. Oh! And Kurt Angle, probably the best ever out of there. Kurt Angle doing it big though right now, man. Big German suplexes again on Lesh. That was a trifecta, three more German suplexes from Angle to Lashley. Where does Kurt Angle get his endurance from? Looking for the Angle Slam. Lashley pops free, and nice spine buster from Lashley. Cover, hooks the leg, and Angle somehow kicks out at two. You gotta wonder that spine buster, what did it do to Angle? You no, know, many operations, surgically repaired neck of Kurt Angle, and a spine buster affects that thing big time. Is Lashley thinking spear? Is Lashley thinking this one's over? Oh man, he's in the zone, buddy. And Angle sidesteps Lashley, and the challenger again, another German suplex. He, I mean, he's got to be up to a total of what, 10 Germans in this match? Uh, you know, these take a lot out of the guy giving the German too, by the way. Lashley's really landed hard. Angle looking for his fourth consecutive German suplex. Hands are still locked. Angle's still firmly in control. So hard to do what he's doing, especially to a guy the size of Lashley. Freaking Kurt Angle, the guy's just an animal, man. I'm telling you. And Angle looking ankle lock for the second time in this match. He's got it on. Angle looking to cinch in here on the world champion. And there he goes. Will Lashley tap out? The challenger is in control. America's golden boy, Kurt Angle, in control. And Lashley able to fight off. Lashley avoiding, and this time, Lashley relying on his power. And the power slam. Angle hard into the canvas. Leg is hooked, and Kurt Angle kicks out once again. What a match for the World Heavyweight Championship between Lashley and Kurt Angle. Shoulder first into the steel post as we welcome everyone back. Kurt Angle, schoolboy, looking to become champion into Whoa. the ankle lock. Nicely done. Schoolboy into that ankle lock. That was very well done by Angle. And for the third time in this match, Lashley is at the mercy of Kurt Angle. Well, let me teach you something here. Everybody out there, big foot, big long legs by Lashley. The bigger his foot is, the more foot there is to grab in that ankle lock. And Lashley rolls through Angle. Head hard off the turnbuckle. Ladies and gentlemen, we have taken our final commercial break. We are with you for the entirety of this TNA World Heavyweight Championship match. These guys are working hard. The drip is pouring off the champion right now. The sweat, I should say. Pouring off the champion. Lashley looking spear. Angle counters with the knee. Angle slam. Kurt's Angle rolls over. I We're going to have a new champion. Oh. Lashley kicks out at two. That shin of Kurt Angle coming into play, countering the spear of Lashley. That Angle slam was impressive. Both of these men could see the fatigue levels hitting them because all of the energy and the physicality they're putting on each other. Oh! High back elbow, clothesline by Lashley again. Going back to the power game. The wheelhouse of Lashley. Lashley Smart is not rushing into anything. He's paying, whoa, 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 he's taking his time, but he's got himself a nice delayed vertical suplex there. Hard landing, man, hard landing for the challenger. A lot of powerful moves throughout this match from Lashley. That's his game, buddy. That's his game, man. Lashley again thinking spear. He's gonna run right through Angle here, buddy. He is gonna run right through Kurt with this spear. You can see Lashley setting up. And there's the spear! I knew it, you can see it was coming. And Lashley is on his way he to retaining him. the championship. Did he get him? He got him! I think he got him. He didn't get him, he didn't get him. Well, he 
referee Brian Hebner, who had the best vantage point, was in the perfect spot. Said Angle got the shoulder up at two. I don't know how. Man, that was that was some shot right there with that spear. What impact! What a hit! Wow, by Lashley. What is Lashley doing here? I mean, clearly Lashley's gonna ascend to the top rope. Yeah, don't worry about this guy. He's some kind of athlete. He's not exactly climbing up there too gingerly. I'll tell you that, though. And but he Kurt is a good Angle. How many times have we seen Angle do this in his career? Thrown off though by Lashley. Lashley looks like he's thinking about doing something off these ropes, but he should just do it already. 278 pounds comes up empty. You imagine getting hit by that guy. That would have been the end of the match. Holy smokes. Shows the athleticism that Lashley has, the way he flew off those ropes as far as he went. Kurt Angle's trying to pull from underneath, man. He's trying to suck it up right here. Kurt Angle up, and now Angle has aspirations of high flying. And Kurt Angle with the crossbody. Lashley absorbs, he rolls, rolls through. through. Got himself an ankle lock. And will Kurt Angle tap out? Well done by Lashley. Much to the chagrin of the live audience there at Wembley Arena, but I'll tell you what, I was impressed with that. Angle might tap on his own hold. Is Kurt Angle seconds away from tapping out? Is Lashley seconds away from retaining the TNA World Heavyweight Championship? Got that ankle lock in real good, does Lashley. And Angle makes his way to the bottom rope. Lashley has five seconds to break, and he does. You want to grab those extra five seconds to maybe tear a tendon or a ligament in that ankle. Every second that holds on, it's excruciating. Kurt Angle trying not to put too much weight on the ankle. He's back up, and Angle looking at Angle slam again. Where does he get the strength? Cover, Lashley down, and Kurt Angle was that close to becoming world physical. champion. Josh, how physical is this well, match, well, well, Lashley held on. Sure did. He's trying to go for an arm bar, maybe like a Juju Katami, which is, yeah, it is, like, a, like what some call a cross arm breaker. It's a jujitsu hold. Totally pulls your bicep apart. Got to grip his own hand, does Kurt. Got to try and grip his own hand or roll towards Lashley to alleviate that, 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 that stretch of the bicep. How smart for Lashley to position himself between angle and the ropes. Very smart. Can't get to the rope to break it, but Kurt, Used his face and head, kept the pressure on the leg, broke the hole. Look lock. at this guy. Wow! That is just freaking subhuman. I'm telling you what he just did. And Lashley pulled back into the center of the ring. Kurt Angle has the ankle lock fully cinched in. Why has no one ever booked these two guys against each other until now? This is crazy. What a match. Where were you on March 20th when Kurt Angle went one-on-one -on -one with Lashley for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship? He's in trouble, Lashley's in trouble, a champ. He's caught up, man, he can't even move with that leg bar, leg scissor, great vibe completely with the ankle lock. Lashley may pass out. Lashley may pass out from the pain. He's hanging on, he's Lashley tapping. tapped out, he tapped. Kurt Angle won, holy crap. Six-time TNA World Champion, the Hall of Famer is champion. The Angle Era is real. What a match! First off, congratulations to Kurt Angle. As far as World Championships, that's his 14th time of being a World Heavyweight Champion, and the emotion is taking over. America's pride in Kurt Angle, but tip your cap to Lashley. He had no choice but to tap, man. There's no shame in tapping. He was caught. You got to lift the fight another day. He could not get out of the great round around that leg and the, and the ankle lock. There was no way for him to get out, Josh. He had to tap. He had to tap. Earlier tonight, Kurt Angle called Lashley the most dominant wrestler in the history of TNA. And tonight, Kurt Angle has bested Lashley for the TNA world title. That's what it's about. 
mad respect for each other. Two tremendous, phenomenal wrestlers. What a match. Congrats to both men and the world champion, the new world champion. So let's take everyone back and show everyone how this unfolded in the early goings. It was the power of Lashley that was in control. Yeah, we saw that early going. I mean, and, and it was a kind of a back and forth thing a little bit. But then Kurt Angle was able to hit these German suplexes early in the match, which surprised me. And he kept going back to the suplexes too. And Lashley at some point was able to deliver the spear. We thought it was over here, and somehow Angle was able to go on. That spear, as you saw, was insane. I thought he had Kurt. So did you. We thought he lost, but not up. Kurt Angle would go for the fourth ankle lock, and you said he great behind the leg. That means he used his legs, right? Exactly, and you, you just immobilize your opponent, as we're looking at right here. We're seeing Lashley's immobilized. He can't go anywhere, Josh. He doesn't want to tap. His pride's hanging on, but he had no choice. He had to tap, and we like his title. Kurt Angle has done it all. The TNA Hall of Famer is now TNA World Heavyweight Champion. What an emotional night for Kurt Angle. I, I, I you know, I, I predicted the win, I'm not putting myself over, but I, 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 I'm still shocked that he won. You know what I mean? Like, just all the years Kurt's been in the ring, all, of, all the injuries he's been through, all the ups and downs in his personal life, but yet he stands in the middle of the ring, in a six-sided ring, looking at his new TNA World Heavyweight title. I'm so happy for Kurt Angle on a personal level. I do kind of feel bad for Lashley, too, because the dude got caught and he couldn't get out. I've been there, I know what that's like, and it sucks. But you know what, if you're going to lose your title to anyone, why not? Kurt Angle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, True Galloway. The captain, True Galloway, competing in our main event. Inside that briefcase is a guaranteed world championship opportunity, but Galloway is not thinking about that. He's thinking about the last time he was in the ring with Kurt Angle and the epic encounter that they had and what he has to do here tonight so that the outcome doesn't look like it did last time for Galloway. And now introducing his opponent, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 244 pounds, the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. He's the living embodiment of Captain America, world-class athlete and a gentleman. Kurt Angle can't be touched inside a wrestling ring. Kurt Angle is the best, period. Couldn't have said it better, Josh. Kurt Angle has done things in this business that other individuals can only dream about. Kurt Angle is a bona fide living legend and the all-around greatest wrestler, arguably, to ever step in the ring. Somewhere Matt Hardy is tweeting about how he defeated Kurt Angle last week, but nonetheless, here we are on the Kurt Angle farewell tour in Manchester, England. 200 miles away from Air Scotland, the hometown of Drew Galloway, who goes 6'7", 250. Not much of a weight advantage as Kurt Angle's at 244 pounds. Talked to Drew Galloway earlier. You can see our conversation on impactwrestling.com. Drew kept repeating, no matter what happens, no matter what Kurt Angle does to me, I have to win yeah. tonight. Absolutely. And, and, and you don't get many opportunities. Obviously, Kurt is on his farewell tour now, and this is just one of those rare chances. Kurt picked Drew. Drew has his opportunity, and he wants to capitalize. It's like Kurt Angle told Mike Bennett earlier tonight, I want to wrestle. Man, I respect. Yeah. On the Kurt Angle farewell tour tonight, it's Drew Galloway. Next up, it's Bobby Roode. And then the final match for Kurt Angle will be against Lashley, and what an encounter that will be. Seeing those two juggernauts go at it before. Classic encounter all around. Match of the year. Ooh, I had tight back suplex by Kurt Angle. And how quick can Kurt Angle change the trajectory of a matchup? In the blink of an eye, in the blink of an eye. When we talk about all the accomplishments of Kurt Angle, there's one that is rarely mentioned. I mean, we talk about the gold medalist, we talk about all of the world titles that he has won, but Kurt is the only wrestler 
in the history of this business to hold all titles simultaneously Ooh. that you could possibly hold. Angle into the cover here. Quick kick out there by Drew Galloway. World title, X Division title, world tag team champion. Hell, if you wanted to, he could have held the knockout championship at the same time, too. It's amazing what Kurt Angle has accomplished in his career. And now on his farewell tour, here against Drew Galloway. And Galloway, he knows all, all the accomplishments of Kurt Angle, but he has to forget about that stuff. He has to get inside the ring, the six-sided ring, and defeat Kurt Angle, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the greatest competitor of all time, the Cyborg. We'll see if Galloway can do that here tonight. Firing away with forearms, trying to stay away from Kurt Angle. Double clothesline in the center of the ring. A stalemate here between Angle and Galloway, who will gain the advantage. Welcome back. This is Kurt Angle versus Drew Galloway on the Kurt Angle Farewell Tour. And during the break, again, it went back and forth. You're seeing Drew Galloway gain the advantage for perhaps the first time in this match. Partner, what can Galloway rely on against Kurt Angle? It's funny that you mentioned that because he has to be a thinking man's wrestler. He has to think on his feet because that's what Kurt is always doing. Oh, and Galloway! High risk, and it's not gonna pay off. The ankle lock by Kurt Angle. This is what I was talking about, Josh. Kurt is always thinking he's one step ahead of his opponent. And Drew Galloway escapes the ankle lock. How much damage was done by Angle? Kurt Angle looking for a backslide here. Galloway lands on his feet. Danger oh. shock DDT. Plants Angle on his surgically repaired neck. Cover by Galloway to kick out in two. Oh, he saw a slight bit of hesitation there, and that allowed Kurt Angle to kick out at two. And Drew Galloway follows up with a powerful closing. Man, Kurt just, you know, he, he got back up to his feet, which is instinct, but you gotta know that future shock, DDT, just, you know, it got Kurt reeling right now. Well, it looked to me like, and to your point from earlier, Galloway was thinking, and he knew that he had an opportunity to roll Kurt over and plant him with that future shock DDT. Angle had the wherewithal to kick out a two. And Drew Galloway is doing right now what he know he has to do, and that's stay on oh. top of Kurt. Do not allow Kurt Angle a chance to breathe, because if you do, man, he'll switch this thing right around as we've seen so many times before. We talked about what Drew Galloway has to do to defeat Kurt Angle. If you're Kurt Angle, and look, look at this, this! An Angle slam on the steel steps to Drew Galloway. Just like that, the tide of the match has changed. The referee Brian Hebner was up to an eight count. Angle and Galloway back into the ring. This match may be over as Kurt Angle. Now Kurt Angle yeah. stays out of the... There's no way that Drew Galloway can see yeah. where Angle is. He's zeroing in, though. Go for that Angle slam. Got him! Planted! And Kurt Angle was that close to defeating Drew Galloway. <laughs> this is where Kurt goes into a, a mode that I don't think a lot of wrestlers possess. Counter there by Galloway, perhaps out of desperation. Galloway will look for the Claymore kick. A running boot to take down Kurt Angle. Nice counter. Nice counter by Drew Galloway. What look is at he this? Have? What does Drew Galloway have in mind? Kurt Angle all the way around. What a unique maneuver. With fierce velocity and a cover and a kick out by Angle at two. Almost like a reverse Alabama jam there that Drew Galloway hit on Kurt Angle. Very impressive. A guy his size get Kurt Angle in a position like that, uh, that's what you do, you just drop. Galloway's still clutching at his lower back from that angle slam on the steel steps outside the ring. 
It's like a target for Kurt Angle. You know that Angle's thinking about German suplexes oh, yeah. at some point in this match. And to Drew's credit, he has not necessarily put himself or allowed himself to be put in the position for Kurt to hit it. No, not a lot of throws thus far in this matchup by Kurt Angle. Great game plan by Drew Galloway. And what does the captain have in mind oh, here? No. Galloway has Angle hooked by the no, head. No, control no. Control the head, control the body. But Drew Galloway is going to take out oh. Kurt Angle. A Celtic cross. Kurt Angle's farewell may come right here tonight. Galloway hooks the inside leg, and Kurt Angle barely kicks out in two. How did Angle kick out? The man is a cyborg. Unbelievable. What does Drew Galloway have to do? And again, the lower back of Drew Galloway. It bounced off those steel steps. And Kurt Angle, lightning quick, into a German suplex. And he's back up to his feet just like that. German suplex, going for the dog. Got the off. slam. The angle slam got thrown off, countered by Galloway. Claymore, the Claymore. Huge jump set perhaps coming. But what is Drew doing? He should have went in for the cover. I think Drew Galloway sensed that Kurt Angle was going to make his way back to his feet. Didn't want to waste the energy of going for a cover. Wants to size up Angle for another Claymore. And he got him. And Drew Galloway is going to defeat Kurt Angle, who gets the outside shoulder up. Are you kidding me? Drew has won so many matches with that Claymore kick. He and beat it only Lashley. Took, and he hit Lashley yeah. with it. And it only took one. He hit Kurt with two. With two of them. And Kurt still has the resiliency to kick out. It's the future here and now. Can Drew Galloway size up and defeat Kurt Angle? The Claymore from the top got thrown off. And Drew Galloway, caught here by Kurt Angle. Well, we're about to take a trip down Suplex Boulevard. Kurt is at number two. Angle not letting go, hands locked. Oh! A thunderous throw by the Olympic gold medalist. Just when you think you got Kurt where you want him, he comes and surprises you. Shot. And Angle again, staying directly behind Drew Galloway. Looking for an Angle slam. Connects. And maybe Kurt now sensing that he has to do more to put Drew Galloway away. Kurt Angle did not go through the cover. Kurt Angle, for everything he's been through in this match, trying to get up to the top opener, just drops himself into Drew Galloway, who pops three and two. What a match between Kurt Angle and Drew Galloway. What an absolute war we are witnessing. And Angle wants to put an end to this war with an ankle lock. Forced Drew Galloway to tap out in the center of the ring. Can Drew Galloway hang on? Can Drew Galloway fight through the pain? Galloway turned it around. Nice reversal. And here comes Kurt Angle, and there oh. goes Angle. The smack of Kurt Angle's shoulder into that ring post. A ring rattling maneuver, and another Claymore. Another Claymore. Kurt Angle down, and Kurt Angle kicks out. Third Claymore, third Claymore. Kurt still kicked out. Oh, oh my God, he's busted open. Drew Galloway caught Kurt Angle with that Claymore right in the mouth. Woo. Blood pouring out of the face of the Olympic gold medalist. And a submission maneuver by Drew Galloway. Kurt Angle may tap out. Kurt Angle may tap out. We've seen Drew put this maneuver on before. We've seen him apply it before. And it's so, such a unique maneuver because he traps the arm. He traps the arm behind his neck and then applies the cross face. Kurt Angle writhing in pain. Kurt Angle's fading. Angle turns it around. Kurt Angle, somehow, from the position that he was in, has an ankle lock on Drew Galloway. And he's in the center of the ring. Great effort, Drew Galloway, but you're in the ring with Kurt Angle. Kurt is cranking on his ankle. Galloway, maybe forced to take. 
tap out. He may have to. Joe turns it around, trying to fight free. Fired away on the jaw. Pumps the knee of Angle. And Galloway went back to the submission hole. Look at the torque. It's not just a blood pressure to the neck. Look at the torque on the shoulder. Look at the blood pouring out of the mouth of Kurt Angle. Drew Galloway wrenching back. Kurt oh Angle stepped out. Kurt Angle has tapped out. I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Drew Galloway. What a battle between two warriors. And what a victory by Drew Galloway. A tap out victory over Kurt Angle. I sit here speechless. Mouth wide open. I cannot believe what I have just witnessed. Drew Galloway told us earlier I have to win. I have to beat Kurt Angle. Well deserved by Drew Galloway. What a hard fought war. This is absolutely, as Pope said before, the biggest opportunity he capitalized. This is the biggest win of Drew Galloway's career.